Hey, Chris the Carpenter here. I uh, want to show you something that I am pretty gosh darn proud of. Um, sorry if you're looking at the screen and not at you guys, but can you see that? Can you guys see those? Those are internal threads. Those, those are external threads. And Coincidentally, they thread together really, really well. It is so incredibly perfect. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I, I now wish that these weren't scrappy junk pieces of stuff. I wish I, I have to go clean them up, but unfortunately they're really short, so I don't have a whole lot of places to grab them. And I don't want to grab the threads, so, um, but yeah, it's like incredibly perfect. Cutting threads on a lathe is what God intended for me to do on this planet. Um, these internal threads were cut with this. This is a tool that I made. <laughs> I said earlier that I'm at the point where I can make anything, and if I can't make it, I can make the thing I need to make it. Um, well, I could literally make my own bolts. It would take me forever, but I could make my own bolts, no problem. And I even made, let's see, can you see that? That's the threading tool, that's the internal tool. It's just a, it's on a, a, a boring bar holder. And um, it's just cheap, uh, cold rolled steel that I just, I turned down so it'd fit in there it fit in there and then I just turned it down to a smaller shank. I drilled it sideways and then I inserted a round piece of, um, of good steel, you know, like super duper high carbon, uh, you know, oil hardened rock well stuff, um, which I ground into the um, 60 degrees I needed. Um, then I don't know if you can see the brass, but I, uh, I brazed it, I brazed the whole thing together, and, uh, and then I ground it all down and made it pretty, and then I went back and cleaned this up again after the brazing and after, um, well, just basically just tidied it up, and then I got this as hot as I could possibly get it with map gas because I'm out of oxygen, and I think I'm out of acetylene too anyway, and um, and then I dunked it, and um, and then I hit it one more time on the uh, on the grinding wheel just to, just to kiss that edge and tidy it up, and it's sharp as can be. Like after cutting everything, it's it's like it's a, it's really hard. Like I hardened it properly, I tempered it, or whatever the hell I was supposed to do, I did it right, and uh, and it works, and it works incredibly incredibly well. And as a matter of fact, its angle matches a stock off the shelf cutter that I used to do the external threads. So not only did I make a tool that works, but I made a tool that works and matches what professional tools are made to do. So did I talk long enough, three and a half minutes, to show you I made something that threads in and out? This opens up so many op so many things now that I can do. Um, I bought some three inch aluminum tube and uh, I think I'm very, very tempted to make a little can, a little jewelry box kind of thing, this will thread onto. And I gotta make more threading tools. I gotta make more cutting tools in general. I, I know how to do it now. And uh, yeah, oh, different radiuses and different stuff. Um, <laughs> big fat ting. It's been a crappy day today too. I got really screwed by one of my suppliers and I'm having to really put some fires out and I, I was having a really crappy day. And then, whoop, <laughs> and then I did this. Um, all right, ding, bye.